All right, so what now we're gonna do is we're going to um, wrap him for what we call a hip flexor. Now this is the first time that we've utilized the elastic wrap for not just compression, but for its actual mechanical properties. The wrap itself is stretchy, okay? So if we tighten it, it's gonna to wanna to pull itself in. So we're kind of in essence creating like a rubber band effect. So the tighter it gets, the more it's gonna to wanna to pull back. So if the hip flexor is a muscle, so every single time he kind of goes into extension, the wrap is gonna tighten up and wanna pull it into flexion. And so this wrap actually assists that muscle in that particular action. So what we wanna do is that we want to place him into hip flexion, so every single time he goes into extension, it's gonna to wanna to tighten and pull it back up. So depending on how bad it is, uh, ideally we would have him just place um, his heel or his foot up on a, on a step. Um, what I even do is many times is put them sitting down in a chair so they're actually in full 90 degrees of hip flexion. So that way when they go down into um, extension, it really pulls them up. But we really wanna just start here, just mild, slight, um, slight hip flexion. So the way I'm gonna do the wrap is I'm going to um, start like I did uh, the quad, except for I'm gonna come up a little bit higher because the muscle itself is gonna be right up into here. So what I really wanna to try to do is instead of being down here where the quad is, I wanna be up here more um, where the hip is. Again, this isn't a great wrap to go over bulky shorts, ideally go over compression shorts, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna show it right here. Now, this wrap differs in the next one as far as the groin goes in the fact that what I'm going to do is I'm pulling the wrap from the medial side to the lateral side because that's the direction that the hip flexor goes. Okay? The groin I'm actually going to pull from the lateral side to the medial side. So I'm going to wrap this around his thigh. I'm going to do the dog ear again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to cross over from, again, medial to lateral, go around the back side, all the way around his waist. I'm going to come around figure eight pattern and come up again and as much as I can. He's got big legs, big waist, so I'm not going to get very much with him. I might use two wraps. I might use a longer wrap if need be. But you can see where this X is is right where the hip flexor is, and it's primarily pulling up and out, okay? So we're gonna tape it with, um, with elastic tape or even a white tape. So now when he steps down and he walks, as soon as he goes into extension, it's gonna spring and pull his leg up into flexion, which is exactly what we want to do to assist that hip flexor.